Okay, what's up, man? What you going on? So, I promised this video for you guys, um, and it's taken a little while, but um, since I've been with PFG for over a month, January, February, yeah, a month and a half or something like that, I wanted to come on here and actually give you guys what I think about uh, PFG and also U.S. food. So. Um, Today's Monday, it's my day off today. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, rate each place. I'll tell you guys, I'll break, it, I'll break it down. You guys get it as soon as I start talking. But Performance Food Group uh, out here in San Diego, that's gonna be one of them. Second one will be US Foods out here in San Diego. The third one is U.S. Foods in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, I know this is probably different for a whole bunch of other places, depending on where you uh, where you live. Um, each place is different, but uh, I'm gonna give you guys. You guys can get a little bit of sense of like where you want to go if you're if you're doing that. Um, I don't know anything about Cisco. I don't know anything about uh, what's the other one, uh, McLean. I don't know about Shamrock. Although I heard really awful things about Shamrock, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you guys to figure that out. But um, yeah, so uh, let's see. So we can get started. So we can do. Uh, let's talk about the money. So everyone wants to know about the money. Pay, pay, pay. How much you can make. So that's the number one thing. Um. Performance food group out here, we get $33.87 an hour. Um, U.S. Foods out here in Vista got uh, about 24, around 24 an hour. Um, but then with the 24, you don't pay for your medical or dental or anything like that. It's included. And both PFG and U.S. Foods out here are union. So... That's the thing to uh, consider. Um, and then U.S. Foods in Phoenix is component pay. So you get paid per route, per stop. Uh, per stop, how much stuff you unload and um, and how many miles you drive. So it's called component pay. So that's what those three, those three things uh, consist of. Um, so, so far... Uh, the most money have I made um, is with PFG. Now, there is a little bit of a, there's a little variable with that. With US Foods in Phoenix, it was component pay. You finish your route, you're done. So I can get finished with my route in you know 10 hours, um, and you get the same pay as you were if you worked 12 or 14 hours. With PFG out here is, I average about, I can finish around, if I start at 5 a.m., I finish my route about three or four o'clock. So that's about 10 hours. Um, so, um, yeah, so if I had to rank, as far as the pay is concerned, I put uh, PFG first. And uh, second would be U.S. Foods in Phoenix, Arizona. And then the third would be uh, U.S. Foods in, here in Vista. Um, I was averaging like $1,000 a week at U.S. Foods in Vista. Um, so next we're going to talk about routes. Um, PFG is so far the easiest routes I've done since working in food service. I average about seven to, or six to 10 stops. Uh, last week was really light, six to 10 stops, no more than what, 800 cases that I'm delivering throughout the day. So PFG is number one. Number two would be uh, US Foods in Phoenix. And the third would be um, US Foods here in Vista. So. U.S. Foods in Phoenix, uh, we average 10 stops, like 
10, 11 stops, maybe, oh no, 10 to 13 stops, probably like 1,200 cases on average, I would say. Um, but then they're also chain restaurants, so they're easier to deliver um, because there are chains and they're pallet, pallet, palletized, palletized. So first pallet you take off, that is what uh, goes to that store. So you're not digging. Um, so far, since I lived here, I'm digging for a product. Um, but PFG is a little bit easier to dig around than uh, the U.S. Foods was. Um, so, um, also, when you're considering the routes, I would say uh, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> U.S. Foods and Phoenix is easier to get around because they're big chains. IHOPs, Applebee's, stuff like that. You're in big shopping centers, easy to park, easy to get out, stuff like that. But then also we're driving 48s. We're driving the, the one of the big trucks every single day. Um, there's no, we're not driving small trucks or anything like that. Um, uh, US Foods in, out here in San Diego, the stops, every stop is different. So that was really frustrating for me. Um, every stop was different. Um, you get a lot more stops, 20 stops, 15 stops, stuff like that. Um, a lot more digging. Some stops were only 20 cases. Some were five cases. Some were 150 cases. So that was the frustrating for me. Um, and then also for PFG, usually I'm average driving a 32 um, every single day uh, with a lift gate. 32 or 20. On Saturdays, I drive the big 48s. But... Um, that's what I'm uh, averaging as far as routes and stops and stuff like that. <laughs> also, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, start times. Phoenix, U.S. Foods start at 10 p.m. overnights. So you're doing overnights, you get done about 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., around there. Um, that was rough. I feel like I am getting a lot more rest out here. Um, U.S. Foods out here, we started between like 12 and 3 a.m. or something like that, 12, 1, 2, 3 a.m. Uh, PFG out here, I start at 5 a.m. So um, I'm definitely getting a lot more sleep out here, which is good. Um, so like if you guys are looking at uh, going to different places, uh, you gotta make sure to ask them what their start time was because their start time uh, kind of shapes your life because out in Phoenix, I wasn't getting a lot of good sleep um, but I feel like out here I'm getting a lot uh, better sleep. <laughs> um, let's see. The next thing I'll talk about is just like the facilities and stuff like that. Uh, here we have a yard. Um, I'll put the video. There's a video at the end of this one. It's our yard out here in San Diego for PFG. Um, and I mean, it's, just, it's like in somebody's like backyard, basically. <laughs> it's just, there's no like headquarters or anything like that, which is fine. It's, I haven't had any trouble or anything like that, but um preferably i would say if you're starting out then you don't want to do be out here um and you need to be at like a big facility the best facility i saw pfg has a really good facility out in um the city of industry uh, it's really big really huge um there's a lot of people um i feel like there's a lot more going on and stuff like that u.s foods of phoenix <laughs> Um, was good. It was a smaller yard and smaller facility, but I still felt like that was really good. Um, and then the U.S. Foods out here in Vista was good too. They had a big yard too. Um, but I feel like I was out on my own a lot in, uh, uh, at U.S. Foods in Vista. Um, and when, you know, everyone's experience is different, but that was kind of like with my experience, uh, being out there, um, or being at uh, US Hoops and Vista. Um, so that's the yards. Let's talk about a, uh, like the management. I'm being, I'm being very vague. Um, be careful with my words. <laughs> um, so far, US Foods and Phoenix had the best kind of like management. Um, they really appreciated me. They really helped me out and stuff like that. So, um, I would say that was probably the best I had. Uh, PFG is to be determined because I don't really talk to like that. Uh, U.S. Foods and this um, was okay. I felt, like I said, I felt lost there. So 
I don't know if that's reflection on them or whatever, but I felt kind of um, a little out of place. Um, There's sometimes I come in and like, I didn't know, what, like no one was telling me what to do or anything like that. So um, yeah, that's as far as management. Equipment, the best equipment, this is very important. Equipment, 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 make sure you guys are using good equipment. I've had a rough week this week, had twice had to call for bad equipment, bad trucks, bad trailers, stuff like that. The best is U.S. Foods in Phoenix, hands down, hands down, U.S. Foods Phoenix. We had we had new trucks, we had new trailers, um, new um, dollies, stuff like that. Anything you needed, they usually had or they ordered it for you. Gloves, they supplied you with gloves, anything you needed, you, you could get out there. Everyone loves my hand truck out here. They're like, where'd you get that hand truck? I was like, I got it from Phoenix. Um, so, um, definitely U.S. Foods in Phoenix, really good equipment. Um, I would say second is probably U.S. Foods in Vista for, uh, as far as equipment. Um, I wasn't there for that long, but um, they didn't, I mean, I didn't break down or anything. Um, the equipment seemed pretty solid. They have really good pallet jacks out there really really good pallet jacks um like they're almost like brand new stuff like that uh, and then pfg will probably be third on that list um the pallet jacks are hit and miss um like i said i broke down twice the tractors are not good <laughs> i'll just say that not good i'll be <laughs> kind um they're not good i think they they need some improvement as far as the equipment out here um so yeah that's that's the, as far as the equipment goes um so i say overall working in three different places i'll just give you an overall kind of what my thoughts are overall i feel like um u.s foods in phoenix was probably number one for me one of you I think, well, okay, so I think U.S. Foods and Phoenix is probably number one when you think about everything that I'm talking about as far as, you know, money, routes, start times, you know, yards, management, equipment, and stuff like that. I would say uh, U.S. Foods and Phoenix is probably number one. Number two is probably, uh, number two is going to be PFG, but that's like a slight underneath uh, U.S. Foods in Phoenix. They're kind of, I feel like they're a little bit the same. I haven't been working long enough for PFG to t totally get it, but I, I do like it. I do like uh, my work out here at PFG, and I'm glad I switched over. And then third would be U.S. Foods in Phoenix, as far as, like all the, like I said, all everything, the money, the routes, the start time, um, stuff like that, uh, management, equipment, all that other stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my overview of U.S. Foods versus um, Performance Food Group. Um, if you have, guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, but that's kind of what I think of anything. Um, this week, I, start, I work tomorrow, and then I get off on my last days on, I mean, not last day, but uh, my end of the week is on Saturday. Um, and I've been having I've been having a good time, man. I've been having a good time. It's really easy out here. Um, the work's not that hard. We've already had a couple of people get fired, which is really weird. So I'm like concerned. <laughs> I don't like trying to figure out what they did wrong, so I don't do it. Um, but I'm in probation still, so I got like another month before I'm out of probation, I believe. So we'll see. But um, yeah, right now I'm gonna show you guys the yard out here in PFG. Got any questions? Let me know. Um, also, um, you can add me on Instagram. I put daily like stories and stuff like that of, of shit that I'm going through out there. Um, so if you guys want to add me on on uh, on Instagram, I'll put it in the description. My Instagram page for Performance Food Group. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. And um, just look out for more videos. All right, peace. Okay, it's three o'clock. I just finished my round. Today's March 1st. It's a little windy out here, so I'm gonna be careful. Uh, so that was my trailer. I had a 32 today. So I just wanted to show you guys. So they deliver all the stuff here. Uh, if you
through that gate right there and basically this whole place is lined up with trailers i'm the first one back today so that's why but uh once you finish the route show you I'm supposed to put the packet in here this those are the pallets i use this is a trailer i had today it's empty delivered all the stuff so yeah you're just supposed to put it here close that up and then my car's over here so that's the track and then uh I'll show you guys this is the pallet jacks we use on here we have to put this on here so it doesn't rain on them and then this is shed we use to charge them up we got stuff over here um, that we that we're able to use but yeah that's our yard there's no headquarters here in san diego it's in the city of industry but <laughs> 